Okay, our next movie is one of the entries this weekend in the 33rd Annual New York Film Festival. It's called The Celluloid Closet, and it's an amusing and perceptive documentary about homosexuals in the movies during nearly a century. For many of those years, of course, it was forbidden by the production code to show homosexual behavior on the screen, but filmmakers got around that with carefully coded performances showing characters who might not be identified as gay, but many audience members could break the code and understand the gay references. There were, for example, lots of characters who were known as sissies, and actor-playwright Harvey Firestein remembers some of them. My view has always been visibility at any cost. Um, I'd rather have negative than nothing. That, that's just my particular view, and also because I am a sissy. Then there were women characters who look today a lot like lesbian stereotypes, although at the time they were disguised as vampires. Do you like jewels, Lily? This is very old and very beautiful. I'll show it to you. Or vamps. May I have this? Of course. simply very possessive sinister forces like Mrs. Danvers in Hitchcock's Rebecca. Feel this. It's a Christmas present from Mr. De Winter. He was always giving her expensive gifts the whole year round. I keep her underwear on this side. The Celluloid Closet is not an angry or a particularly political film. It's more of a movie lover's trip to a chapter of film history that until recently has been invisible or ignored. If you didn't catch it or you're not going to catch it at the New York Film Festival, it will air on HBO on January 30th and then be released theatrically a couple of weeks later. I think it's a better film maybe than you think. I think it's an important picture and I think there is some anger in the picture, particularly in the last section of the film when it deals with uh, portrayals of gays labeled as gays from the 70s through today and that is that uh, they're hateful portrayals basically it is only in just the last couple of years that we're getting anything that is approaching humanism in portraits of gays the picture also i think is significant in another way it shows how you can take footage from films and put together a piece of cultural history that is absolutely fascinating you could now i think other groups can take a look at this picture based on vito russo's mm -hmm, book mm -hmm cellulite closet and say we can tell our story too through the movies yeah we can look clips. at our story it's say, terrific because it is true that once they started showing gays on the screen they started showing them mostly in negative ways as killers as perverts as uh, as serial murderers and so forth now, cruising with al pacino is a case in point i mean that's a that's a hateful film okay coming up next